Today we want to introduce the HDK type front loader furnace from Carbolite Gero company. Carbolite Gero is located in the south of Germany next to Stuttgart. We have a broad range of furnaces. Today we want to introduce the HDK furnace range which can go up to even 3000 degrees C. One unit will be explained by our project manager Tim. My name is Tim Ohnweiler from Carbolite Gero. It's a pleasure for me to introduce today the second standard unit we supply to our customers. This is a chamber furnace from the type HTK. It's a 8 liter furnace, which means we have a hot usable volume of 8 liters. It is a graphite furnace, which can go up to 2200 degrees C, this version but okay, we can also upgrade it up to uh, 3000 degrees C. This is again a semi-automatic software operation of this furnace, which means by touching those um, buttons, we can open or close all the wells we have, or we can start a heating cycle, or we can start the vacuum pump we have here on the other side. We see the temperature controller, we see the over temperature limiter, as well as two interfaces, to simply collect the data for later evaluations. Let's have a look inside the chamber of this furnace. We have here the water cooled door, which is individually cooled down by water. Now we see inside the furnace. Okay, for sure we have to insulate the heat towards the water cooled vessel we see here. And uh, the first layer and the second layer both are made from graphite felt. For the 2200 degrees C version we see the thickness. The thickness for 3000 degrees C is increased a little bit. Inside we see the mantle heater. We only have a single zone heating element. The heating rods you see here inside are uniformly distributed to have a very good temperature uniformity inside the usable space. We see a retort inside which is very important, especially when we talk about samples where we have an outgassing or a debinding procedure. Let's have a look inside of the retort. Inside the retort we see the central gas outlet. So the only way for evaporating material of the sample is to go through this central gas outlet. The temperature is controlled by a pyrometer as well as by a sliding thermocouple for this furnace. The sliding thermocouple is marked in green now. Now the pyrometer is marked and you see the sliding thermocouple going inside and outside again. Okay. Let's have a detailed look at this operating panel of the HTK-8 which we call the semi-automatic version of the HTK which means that uh, the operation is simplified because most of the things you can simply do from this panel. Let's say years before we had uh, not such a panel so we had to run around the furnace to open for instance vacuum valves or switch on vacuum pumps which is now totally simplified. Here we see the gas inlet for argon. Gas inlet means that uh, the argon flow is controlled because you can set the flow by means of a rotometer. You can switch it on and you can switch it off. After evacuation, you don't want to wait several minutes to flood back your furnace with inert gas. So you can use this bypass where you have very fast flooding of the furnace, for instance, after evacuation of the system. The gas outlet valve for sure has to be opened if we want to release the gas from the furnace. We can close it again. You can simply switch on the vacuum pump. If you want to evacuate the furnace, you also have to open the vacuum valve. And now we start to pump the furnace down, down to the working vacuum, which is for this version around 5 times 10 to the minus 2 millibar. The temperature curve you can program here inside the Eurotherm controller 
Eurofilm controller has the highest precision in terms of talking about uh, PID control. And here you can simply um, program the temperature curve you want to run during your process. This was the semic automatic version of the HTK explained in detail by Tim. We also have other furnaces with other sizes of the HTK range. Further to the unit made by graphite, we also have furnaces which are made from tungsten or molybdenum, heating elements and insulation. If you have any inquiries on the front loader range from Carbolite Gero, please do not hesitate to contact us. You are welcome in Carbolite Gero company located next to Stuttgart. We will support all your needs for heat treatment applications like heat treatment with reactive gases, sintering, metal or ceramic injection molding or others. We have a huge range and a high flexibility on the HDK range. What you see here is the metallic HDK, which is for debinding and sintering even in partial pressure of hydrogen if required by the customer. Thanks a lot for watching.